Okay, kids, so we all know Scary Movie, the iconic spoof of Scream, I Know What You Did Last Summer, and other 90s horror movies. One that made a whopping $278 million, spawned a slew of sequels, and plagued us with a bunch of putrid, vile, crass, lazy spoof movies that most definitely ended the subgenre of parody movies. But the first Scary Movie was a classic, right? It was hilarious, right? It was a spoof done right, right? Well, yes, and no. Look, I grew up loving the Scary Movie franchise, particularly the first movie, but rewatching the series with adult eyes, I have come to the realization that the only objectively good one is Scary Movie 3, which is shocking considering it was the first film without the involvement of the Wayans brothers and the first film to be neutered with a restrictive PG-13 rating. This isn't going to be a video that discusses why the original scary movie doesn't hold up and why it's outdated, blah blah blah. Don't come for me, but we're going to be talking about why it wasn't really strong in its conceit to begin with. And yes, I will say most of the humor in Scary Movie 1 is very outdated, especially the characters of Doofy and Miss Man and the running joke of Anna Ferris being beaten up. All of these problematic aspects don't comment on anything, don't have anything to say, don't tell a joke, don't follow through with a punchline, and just exist to be mean-spirited, shocking, and crass. So yuck. But this came out in a time where society was much less empathetic, much less aware of the impact media has on the general perception of certain topics, so whatever. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about why Scary Movie was a missed opportunity as a parody, and by missing this opportunity, it is responsible for what the parody subgenre became. Let me explain. The point of a parody is to criticize and mock something with humor and make us realize how ridiculous that thing actually is. The film that Scary Movie was trying to parody was Scream, a film that was actually made by the same company, Dimension Films, owned by the repulsive Weinsteins. The problem is that Scream, which was funnily enough originally titled Scary Movie, was itself a satire on horror movies. The whole point of Scream was to comment on and point out all the cliches and tropes of scary movies and break down the formula of the horror genre. That's what was fresh and interesting about Scream and why it made such an impact. It made fun of scary movies while still very much being one. So in the case of Scary Movie, how do you make a satire of a satire? That actually seems like a really interesting challenge. A challenge that could have led to an incredibly smart, sharp, biting commentary on what the horror genre had become at the time. At the time Scary Movie came out, most horror movies were following in the footsteps of Scream and were trying to be self-referential and hip and meta and essentially cannibalize themselves by overanalyzing exactly what they were. Because that's what made Scream so successful and what made it revive the horror genre. What was hot was self-criticism and being meta and having a sense of humor. So Scary Movie, instead of dissecting and mocking this trend of scary movies trying to be ultra smart and slick and self-referential, just ended up being an exaggerated, goofier remake of Scream. It was a more vulgar, cartoony rehash of what scary movies at the time already were. So that's why I think so many people always get Scary Movie and Scream confused and mixed up with one another. Scream was already a parody, and all Scary Movie did was amplify the humor. And ironically, Scream has more to say about Scary Movies than Scary Movie. Scary Movie actually strips away most of Scream's commentary on the genre and instead just follows the formula of old school horror movies but adds fart jokes and sex humor. 
So the film that's supposed to be ripping scary movies to shreds is actually the one that doesn't even really make fun of the hallmarks of the genre. I think one scene in Scary Movie that gives us a glimpse of what the whole film should have been like is the locker room scene with Buffy Gilmore where she thinks the killer is really just one of her friends playing a joke on her and trying to scare her. So she continues mocking the killer and thinks she's outsmarting him with her references to horror movie tropes and cliches even while he's actually killing and injuring her. This scene gives us a taste of what could have been if Scary Movie had actually commented on and made fun of the meta self-referential age of horror that it was supposed to be attacking. If Scary Movie had actually parodied how Scary Movies themselves had become parodies, it could have been a brilliant, ambitious, thought-provoking twilight zone of spoof cinema that legitimately took the parody subgenre to an innovative new level. And even with all its crudeness and raunchiness, I don't think it would have been remembered as a disposable lowbrow comedy. But it wasn't that. It took the much lazier approach, and while it's still funny for what it is, what a missed opportunity for the studio who created Scream to comment on how they changed the horror genre with their own creation. That's like several different layers of meta and Alas, since Scary Movie was so successful, the spoof movies we got afterwards didn't have any commentary or criticisms towards other movies. They just remade scenes from other movies but added cheap toilet humor and threw in random celebrities and characters that we recognized, thinking that qualified as parody or a joke. They thought if you recognize something from pop culture that made it funny, so, why do I think Scary Movie 3 is the best? Well, while I still don't think it had any biting criticisms of the horror genre, it did a solid job at ridiculing moments from the movies it was parodying. I can't watch The Ring without thinking of Scary Movie 3 and how it does an excellent job of replicating certain sequences but deviating from them in cleverly funny ways. And while the PG-13 rating seems like it would be restrictive, it encourages the film to rely on witty dialogue, clever quips, and smart humor rather than shock, gross-out gags, and raunch, which makes it feel less crass. The parody subgenre will probably stay dead for a while, but since the Weinsteins, who are notorious for making awful creative decisions, have lost Scary Movie and Scream, which are now owned by Paramount, and since new Scream movies are being made, maybe they'll try reviving Scary Movie. And if I had to put in my two cents, I'd encourage them to do the unexpected and do something fresh and innovative to right the wrongs the series is responsible for. Maybe they should parody the new Scream movie and it could be a second chance for them to do what they should have done in the very beginning. They could comment on reboots and how recent sequels like Halloween, Candyman, and the upcoming well it already came out, and the new Scream all share the same titles as the original movies despite being sequels and they could just call it scary movie i don't know there's potential there but um i'm tired of talking so um i hope you all have a great day goodbye